you to stop what you're doing and listen. Now, live from Chicago, the Hal Sparks radio program mega worldwide. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. Hal Sparks, actor, comedian, and multimedia personality. And I'm all out of bubble. Hal Sparks. All right, let's do this. All right, I don't, I don't know about you, Johnny Million. I don't know about you, but uh, how did you enjoy the end of the world? Um, is that you, what um, MTG was saying would happen? No, no, no. I, uh, I have a theory about that. That was uh, about Elon Musk taking over Twitter and therefore you could let your, you know, free space is having its day and you can go back on there and say anything you would have sh- said marching with the Tiki Torch in Charlotte and everything's going to be fine. <laughs> That's what that meant. I don't think she was like. I'm on the phone with Paul Pelosi's attacker guy. right now. It's, it's Nancy Pelosi's husband with a hair. Just right. you wait. Yeah, just you wait. This is exactly what I've been waiting for this whole time. But uh, I no. mean, not only is she a horrible person, but could she have like worse timing? Um, probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, <laughs> she could have. She, she's the kind of person who could have been like hammering squirrels just to show how country she is. To make soup, you know, right before, like, hey, we're making squirrel head soup. Crack, blood. Yeah, and then crack, just be like, blood. and like, hold up the hammer and be like, I got this hammer at Menards. And then, like, it's the same hammer that they use. Exactly. It's got hair in it yeah. and stuff, like the one yeah. used in, in that uh, Harrison Ford <laughs> I meant movie. The same brand. I didn't, I didn't mean murder weapon. Like her ex husband finds it in the basement and it's got hair on it. And he, instead of turning her in, he washes it. Um, <laughs> What was that one? Was that the presumed innocent? That's what it was. Oh, yeah. 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 His, his, <laughs> his wife killed his ex with a hammer and made, and framed him for it because she was jealous. And in the end, he washes the hammer and stays with her. I mean, I don't I, I feel like that was uh, MTG oh, and her good. husband's first date movie. <laughs> They're Easy. like, you know what? This is love. Anyways. <laughs> so uh, any anyway, uh, like I. I am not, I mean, they have not had a major update on, on Paul Pelosi's condition, but he had uh, minor, uh, well, I would, people were saying brain surgery. I would argue it was cranial surgery because he was hit in the head. It wasn't, they didn't cut out a piece of his brain. It was, you know, he was injured in the skull and that's, uh, you know, what it was, but it's a very serious thing. And this, the, the ping pong, like the, the, the MAGA crowd immediately were like, you could tell they were like, "Uh oh, incoming!" Like they they knew this was not going to be, um, this this was not going to be Antifa. Um, and in this particular this case, where they say, um, "If all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail." Yes, that's that's right. Um, no, that's not what this is. That's terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he um fascinatingly enough this uh this fellow uh seems to be a vacillating extremist there's an article that came out this morning on yeah. uh the new york post i believe that his his stepdaughter accused him of sexually abusing his sons and his uh and her when they were young like it, just a gnarly dude and so being in san francisco but his extremist uh, views are really all not that crazy compared to the rest of the republican party well, it, it's perfectly in line with it, quite frankly. Yeah. Um, yesterday, I went through, um, on as we were getting news coming in on the morning show and then a little bit in the afternoon show, we went over what his blog page looks like. And I took a large PDF of the entire page's post because you have to subscribe. That's how they get you, uh. these lunatics. Um, you have to subscribe to get all the way into the post. But you could see his like preliminary few lines about what the post is going to be about and what he's citing as a source. And he, you know, he had a couple of Jimmy Dore videos in there. He had a couple of Jordan Petersons. Uh, he had of, a, he oh had boy. a, my favorite Joe Rogan uh, one. And then he had a series of, uh, honestly, the most blisteringly obvious part of the whole thing was the, um, the, the amount of, how do I put this? untoward illustrations of Jewish people that look like they were from propaganda handouts in Germany in 1930. Like the, the still, the pictures he would use for the post. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yes, they took his Facebook down and, um, but his, 
you know, his his blog, his WordPress blog, and, they and put all up stuff. A parking lot. Yes, they did. I think it's about time. Um, mm -hmm. It's interesting that it survived as long as it did. I'm I'm beginning to think in some of these cases that they take them down simply to hide the fact that they they had been up this whole time. Because if you look at what's on there, you're like, and this is okay. Like how. You know, considering that, think back to the number of people who've been broomed off of social media for breaking the terms of service, right? N well known people. And um, for, for a myriad of reasons, from, you know, Trump to Mike Pillow. And by the way, this guy cited Mike Pillow's stuff on his site as well. Um, I mean, it's, a, it's obvious. I mean, the guy was like, I, I'm sad he didn't get a chance to discover uh, Russell Brand. They would have been, he'd have, he'd have, you know, fought crime and fallen in love. But um, I isn't begin, it crazy I'm, that he didn't like die on the scene? I wonder why not. I wonder why they didn't just like shoot him immediately. I wonder what it was. I wonder. Well, I'm going to go with uh, he was wrestling with an old man and he had a hammer and they had to attack him. They had to they had, to get him to stop hammering the old man. They had to actually really? physically That's how they caught him. They caught him mid old man. Yes. Wrestle? Yeah. Okay. So story is, and this is pretty amazing. That's why this is why they they thanked the uh, nine one one operator because oh, Paul Paul Pelosi knew there was somebody in the house, called nine one one, put the phone in like his robe pocket so the guy wouldn't know he was on the phone with nine one one and was basically speaking in code because there's a crazy man in his house and you know uh. this this is San Francisco. This might happen all the time at the Pelosi sure. household. This might be the third person that's wandered in. And he's the I'm kind of feeling guy. I, I know why my wife is always concealing the phone screen. That's right. Yeah, there's always a lump she's in her back. She's always on emergency she's... services. That's right. So uh, this this guy's talking to uh, the 911 in code going, what are you doing in my house? What do you intend to do to me? Are you, you, know, are you here to harm me? What is that? And the guy mm. starts yelling. The reason they knew he said... Um, you know, where's Nancy and all that kind of stuff is because the the operator heard it. The 911 operator heard it. She dispatched yeah. people. And then the guy apparently was going to like he had a hammer. He was going to tie up uh, Pelosi and then, you know, I guess hammer him to death in front of Nancy and then do something. OK, I'm crackling for some reason. I will fix that. You're Sorry, crackly. guys. I'm, am I crackly? Why am I crackly? How did the crackly happen? I don't know. I All think right, it's I'll, the dry rice in your pockets. That's what it is. Um, so, uh, anyways, this guy essentially, hold on, maybe this will help. Uh, check, check one, check two. That should be a little better. Hopefully, maybe that was the cause of it. We don't know. Um, it does sound like a little, like a little bit of a digital streamy hiccup. Huh? Huh? That's weird. Um, all right. Well, I will, I will tweak at that as we're going. Right. Okay. Anyways, so this guy. Uh, it, so Paul Pelosi is talking to this guy. They hear it over the line and they sent, she sends, uh, you know, immediately she, I mean, I'm sure they have a red flag on this house considering who it is. So she yeah. goes like, that's the Pelosi house. Send cops immediately. So this sounds bad. And then, um, sounds like a wire short. That's weird. Cause I'm on a digital microphone. I'm yeah, the chat room is trying to help. It's terrific. Um, and anyways, in the, in the process of this, uh, they come into the house and Paul Pelosi is effectively like wrestling the, um, the hammer away from him. Um, and, uh, they jump, they basically like tackle the dude because he's hit Pelosi a couple of times and, sure. uh, and take the hammer away from him. And then they basically are holding him and then they take him away. So, um, Overall, um, the guy being a nudist adds the weirdest spin in, to the story. Susie, Susie in the chat says, um, actually, it kind of doesn't. And I'll tell you why. This guy kind of... a nudist? Well, he was a nudism activist for a period of time. And his girlfriend's kind of, uh, who he lives with, is kind of left-leaning, it seems. Like, she's got a Black Lives Matter sign on the house, and she's got a gay rights flag, and that kind of stuff pretty common uh, throughout that area but he seems to be flopping there uh, and what he's writing seems to be in complete contrast to that what he believes and what he's done in the past and i would like to remind everybody that um charles manson wrote songs about peace and love while he was gathering his hippies around him so 
uh, super important to remember that as you do. Yes. So, um, yeah. Um, anyways, we got to take a break. We'll be back right after this. It's the House Park Radio Program, Mega Worldwide on WCPD Radio, Chicago's Progressive Talk. I will fix the audio thing when we come back or during. <laughs> You're locked into the House Sparks Radio Program. Mega Worldwide. Welcome back to the show. Uh, apologies if I have a little top uh, crackle at the top of my voice. I'm not quite sure where that is. It might just be biological at this point. We don't know. It could just be, you know, something in my throat or... I, Apparently I, yeah. you're echoing now, too. <laughs> they say the crackle is better. Go back. Go back to oh, the crackle. Boy. Stop the crackle. Attack of the crackle. I, I, I I echo. Why would there be an echo? I don't even see it. That's so crazy. It's so silly. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll we'll figure that part of it out. That yeah, there, I don't know where that's coming from. Um, all right. Uh, it will it'll loop back. I think you've got two. The echo's gone. Okay, good. It was just temporary. Okay. Fine. All right. I hate when I have to audio panic in the middle of stuff. All right. So, um, needless to say, we were talking about the. Paul Pelosi attack. Um, this guy wrote a massive, uh, like a, a constant diatribe about Fauci and vaccines. The 2020 election was stolen. The uh, uh, everything but the Earth is flat, and the blame in all of this guy's posts goes to Jewish people. Oh, yeah, well, duh. and uh, apparently. The reason that Zelensky wants the war to go on is because he's Jewish and he wants to kill everybody so that they can sell the land because it's really just a big real estate deal. Um, it's oh. uh, it's just gross. Like the uh, the dude is you know he I wouldn't say he's crazy, but he's definitely spun. So. Um, yeah. yeah, right. Uh, and people are like, sounds like a Fox, Fox, you're, um, I agree. Um, yeah. but I think it's deeper than that. This guy reeks of YouTube. This guy reeks of right wing and faux aggressive YouTube. That's what he watches all the time. So what he watches is the right wing stuff, like the hyper right wing stuff, MTG on rando, you know, Stu Peters show, that kind of stuff. And then he watches the allegedly left-wing things like Russell Brand and Jimmy Dore that say the exact same thing in sheep's clothing. And so they, you know, it reaffirms him that this is everywhere. And that's part of the issue that's going on right now. He's, I'm sure he's all over bit shoot. Um, It's, and again, uh, crazy is one thing, but this, this guy is definitely aware of what he's doing, aware that he is, you know, doing something wrong, but the the question goes to, and then again, let me restate this because I said this yesterday on my live stream at infotainmentwars.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we, we need to be even more um, stringent about the rules about calling for any kind of physical violence because I think people use it in like loosely conversational terms in the my parents are going to kill me if I'm late kind of language. Yeah. And then it seeps in because n- nobody really expects anybody on the left to act on it. Not the, not democratic left. I would say like, if you're talking about like Antifa dudes with Molotovs and whatnot, sure. But the, uh, but regularly, um, these, I'm I, sorry, I'm checking my microphone and it's, uh, I feel like I'm going to like unplug and replug. Uh-oh. I think he's unplugging and replugging. And now he can't That's hear him. Oh, this is terrifying. Now it's all up to me? Can you hear me, Devin? Let's see how it just pointed at me. I can't hear him either, Johnny. Uh, can you? Uh, I cannot. No, the, and some people say that it's... Uh, have you hit it with the broom handle? Yes. That is whenever there is... a. Uh, an issue with any major appliance, you start by hitting it with a broom handle. You talk. Some people can read lips. Some All people right. say it's on uh, take the show, one, Johnny check Million. One. There we are. Oh. Check one. Check one. There I oh, am. Oh, right. oh. See, I fixed it. Um, 
Yeah, you can hear me, can't you? He, he fixed it. It was the Johnny Million show for a while, and I was talking about broom handles. I know. Oh, and now you're gone again. Back to broom handle talk with Johnny Million. So anyway, it can be any kind of old broom handle. You That's don't even have to. Doesn't even have to oh, be like one I of those unscrewing. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know why that. It just seems to hate me right now. That was okay. So that's an internet thing. Oh, now I'm too loud. Thanks, Carl. I'm the only thing you can hear. I'm all you got. I oh, don't yeah. care how loud yeah, right. I am. That's right. Uh, maybe that's what the crackle is. It's your voice. You're too loud. The internet is uh, yeah, maybe is protesting. That's what I. They think. They can't handle broom handle talk. They cannot. Absolutely not. All right. I think we're better. Um. So, anyways, welcome back. To, uh, I'm I'm fine. We'll fix this uh, as we go because that's how it works. Um. You know, I, I only run into a problem when everything's working fine until it isn't. <laughs> right? I think that's pretty consistent. So this, uh, the the guy, you know, points to a major problem in the, in the Republican world right now is that when they, we can say, um, ah, I just want to kill that guy. And we're, we mean it in the same way, like, if I'm home late, my parents are going to kill me. When the right says it, even if they do mean it that way, they are surrounded by open carry lunatics who like to cosplay yep. in parking lots near drop-off boxes with fully loaded handguns with bullets in the chamber. That's the difference. That's the that's the main issue. Um, and these guys have in uh, in no way um, are they able to. Um, sort of play around with that kind of language the way we are. And be, and when we, like I said, there's a little bit of looseness around it. Like one of the things they keep citing is uh, Maxine Waters telling people to get up in people's faces and tell them they're not welcome here in restaurants and that kind of stuff. And, and they play that clip over and over uh, as if she's asking for acts of violence when she is not. Yeah. She's just saying, I'm, you know, you don't get to eat here among decent people if you're not going to be a decent person. That's what she means. Right. But when they say it, they mean my buddy has a gun in his truck. And so they they hear everything that way. Again, you cannot, you have to talk um, in terms of who you're trying to communicate to, not what you want to hear. That's a crucial part of this. So anyways, the this this dude in particular... I've said many times, there is not going to be a civil war. I know people want it. I know people think that January 6th was just the opening salvo. It was not. It was a lame, failed attempt by one sixteenth of the crowd that came to see Trump. The vast majority of the people that came to see Trump left the city disappointed and didn't, you know, talk about it except like i was there and i was down well wind. this is disappointing yeah right they did i mean they essentially were like he did not well we were expecting as pence. far as i can tell we didn't hang one person right well the idea was that pence was gonna do this and let's expect him to and it turns out trump comes out and says he didn't do it he's not gonna it uh, you know he better do the right thing but it doesn't look like he's going to and we got to go make him do it and then it turns out he didn't and then there was all this violence and they're like yeah see ya the vast majority of even the the, the psycho maggots that showed up on that day that actually thought they could take back the, um, you know, the, somehow take back the government for themselves and like install Trump like he's Xi, Jung, uh, Xi Jinping, right? The vast majority yeah, of those like folks, a major appliance. Yeah. Um, they That you they might hit with a broom handle. Oh, uh, you're just going to keep See? at it. See what I did there? You did. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> I, I, I feel bad taking I, even mentioning the super chats when my mic doesn't work. It's terrible. Yeah. So thank the, you, Maxwell. Yeah, thank for you, Maxwell. Super chat. I love your icon. There's a kitty. Carol Aww. Cobb says that I'm ready for my own spinoff, but she's glad you're back. I Cynthia agree. Walker I, wants to buy you a new mic. See, I think GMB six two seven. I think I just need uh, to restart is all i think the whole computer needs a restart we don't have it sounds all right right now yeah yeah it got it, it woke up i i yeah, fiddled yeah. with some things while i was talking i was doing some it's like wizard of oz i'm over here throwing levers and pulling switches while, while trying to talk normally um but in the uh and by the way i agree johnny is ready for his close-up and uh one of these days if instead of doing a best of when i can't be there for the show 
it needs to, I mean, he's got to, if Johnny takes calls, I think that's enough of a show. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And it's just like trolls. Mm. Yeah. Who's that got guy it. from Chicago who always calls in? Oh, Peter. It's all Peter all the time. Yeah, right. Just Peter from Chicago. And he's like, I'll send a, you a bunch like, of, uh, I'll phones, send you a bunch of recordings of me saying, uh, there is no Hunter Biden laptop and you can just play yeah. that on a loop. You know what I mean? <laughs> That'll be but my can, drop. That and yeah, fart sounds. Yeah. You can, you can just keep playing like, You know, that kind of stuff in the background. You can't um, hear the audio. You can't hear it? Okay, I'm sorry. That's just weird. Devin um, is such a buzzkill. He is. He just is. God, sorry, I don't care about the radio. What do you want, a guys. good show? Yeah, really. Um, I need so, more broom handle talk with Johnny Million. That's more right. That's right. Talk. So, um, anyways, to finish this up, and before we go to our next break and try to s- salvage the show, um, this guy, David De Pepe, uh, De Pape, De Pape, um, is uh he's 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 gonna be in jail for a very long time he i amongst the other crimes besides elder abuse burglar attempted burglary because i think he was he stole the rope he was going to tie him up with i don't know um and and attempted murder he's going to be uh away for a, a long time the danger of the the language you hear from the right and why I do not tolerate it on the left, from my point of view, is because it will never lead to a civil war. No one is out there. There's no Glenn Beck, Ben Shapiro rise up where one of them says, attack, and people do. Even if Trump does it, it's not happening. I'm telling you. But enough, we're a country of 340 million people. There are 20,000 lunatics in the country who are ambulatory and have a day job and enough money to buy uh, implements of awful. And those are the people you you recognize are out there when you talk, when you speak about things. Yeah. Because those are the people that will get set off. There is not, I don't predict that there will be a Oklahoma City around this stuff, but there will be things like this guy. And the responsibility falls on those people who, uh, who normalize the, the, you know, violent talk. And therefore, uh, I will not, I'm not, it's not okay. I'm telling you, we'll be back right after this. It's the House Park Radio Program, Mega Worldwide.